Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna do some quick guided practice that will help you sort of interpret what's going on with these solubility curves. As you take a look at problem number one, we wanna know which substance has a solubility of 130 grams at 70 degrees Celsius. Easy enough, we're just gonna to head to the 70 degrees Celsius, and then we're gonna check and see which substance has a solubility of 130 grams. I'm gonna say that our best answer choice here would be potassium nitrate. Boom, and we're done with problem number one. As we look at problem number two, it says which substance is least soluble at 60 degrees Celsius. Pretty easy, I'm just gonna head up the 60 degrees Celsius line until I hit my first substance. In this case, it's ammonia. I can only dissolve approximately 20 grams of ammonia for every 100 grams of water. Everything else will be more soluble at that temperature. Problem number three says which substance is most soluble at 20 degrees Celsius. So at 20 degrees Celsius, just gonna go as far up as I can. Potassium iodide, you're our winner. Most soluble at 20 degrees Celsius. Problem number four. 50 grams of which solution will settle out when it is cooled from 70 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius? Ooh, okay. So I'm going from 70 to 50. Now, as I take a look at potassium chlorate, at 70 degrees Celsius, I would have had about 30 grams dissolved in there. If I cool it down to 50 degrees Celsius, I could only dissolve about 20 grams. So about 10 grams would settle out of solution. If we look at potassium nitrate, again, same temperatures. At 70 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna have about 130 grams. And at 50 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna have about 80 grams dissolved in solution. So as I think about answering this question, potassium nitrate is gonna be our winner here. 50 grams of solution is gonna settle out as I cool it down from 70 degrees to 50 degrees. Problem number five. It says a solution of sodium nitrate contains one gram of solute dissolved in 100 grams of water. At 50 degrees Celsius, this solution is considered. So 50 degrees Celsius, and I'm focused on sodium nitrate. One gram of solute dissolved in 100 grams of water is gonna be way down here. And again, we're focused on sodium nitrate. Let's well, way under the solubility curve which means that it's gonna be an unsaturated solution. Now, as you try to decide between A and B, one gram in 100 grams of water is relatively dilute. We'll talk about the terms dilute and concentrated as we move through this unit, but definitely unsaturated. Okay, and this brings us to problem number six. It says, which procedure will increase the solubility of potassium iodide in water? Okay, now this question is a little bit deceptive because it's asking you to, it's asking you to think about which would increase solubility. Stirring the solute and solvent mixture would increase the rate at which you got things to dissolve, as would increasing the surface area. But that's just gonna speed up the process of dissolving, not get you to increase the amount that you can dissolve. The only thing that we can do to increase the solubility of potassium iodide in water is to raise the temperature. Answer choice D, increasing the pressure. Remember, pressure only affects gaseous solutes, and potassium iodide is a solid ionic salt. And we're done.